Hi, I am She, and I am coming to you from my craft room. Um, it's before work, so um, the lighting is weird in here. It's like 6 o'clock in the morning, and the dogs are already wrestling. And um, this past weekend, I learned how to illuminate. So, this is way out of order. Um, what did I do with them? My first hat I did on not the uh, newborn size, but the next size up, the little round one. Um, I did this one, and the yarn is really, really ugly. It's some of that free yarn I got. And uh, I didn't do finish the bottom, but it rolls up. I like those hats. Not that I could fit into this one. And the top, <laughs> I didn't know how to secure the top, so um, it's flat, like, like for a marine or a jar head. He would have to have a really pointy flat head. Hmm. And then uh, I watched a video on how to luminate a hat. And, uh, oh, you guys are getting out of hand. So this one is a lot better. A lot better. Except uh, I had trouble, um, <laughs> I had trouble keeping my yarn on the same peg for some reason. It's not that hard. You just don't move it from the peg. But I kept moving it. So it made this little this little diagonal weirdo thing right there. But I learned how to cinch the top and the video also showed me how to make a brim knitted right into the hat as I went. So that was super awesome. But it's really, really flimsy. You can see right through it. So the next hat I made, I doubled up the yarn, and I made it bigger on the adult size loom. Not the extra large loom, but the adult size. The uh, For the loops and thread, for the loops and thread kit, it's the orange one. I have another hat on here, because uh, now my brother's friends want a hat each. So I was going to make them triplets, but I'm not going to the, the uh, I'm not going to the store to buy yarn for those two guys. I love them dearly, and they're like my two little brothers. My brother's had them. Uh, Raph has been with us since kindergarten, and Chris has been with us since third grade, and they're all almost 30 now. So uh, I think they're all like 27, 28 now. So they're like my little brothers. But, um, this is my brother DJ's hat. <laughs> you okay? You okay? You hurt yourself. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Alright, get out of there. Alright. So this is his hat, and then I will be making Chris and Raph hats in... This is... Desert. So desert and matching brown. Ta-da! So they'll get matching hats. They'll be twins, but DJ, he has blue eyes and they have brown eyes, so that's how I'm justifying that. And then, um, my Halloween blanket is my, my blanket. Um, the gauging on the yarn is, like, really weird. I got this yarn from a yard sale, and it didn't have a, it's, it's a construction yellow or orange construction orange it didn't have a band on it so I don't know what brand it was but it's a little bit thicker than red heart yarn and this is one two three four five six regular rows of double crochet then I switched to red heart yarn so this one to make it the same size as that one was one two three four five six seven rows then, this is Red Heart Yarn as well, same H hook, same hook, but for some reason this green has to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 regular double crochet rows and an extra row of half double crochet. It's Red Heart Yarn. And they're both four, four worsted weight, whatever, however you gauge that. But um, I don't understand what is going on. But I figured out how to make them all the same size. So that is all that matters. 
And um, this weekend, um, Saturday, no, Sunday, uh, we're watching CNN because we that's our favorite channel. And uh, Don Lemon was broadcasting live from downtown Las Vegas. So we went and we got to meet him. And if I can figure out how to uh, insert pictures into a video like I used to be able to and then I forgot. Um, that's why I switched to my, uh, my actual camera instead of my iPad because this is a lot easier. Um, the software for this is a lot edit friendly, a lot more edit friendly. So uh, I'll insert pictures here. Oh, here. And uh, he was he was super cool. We were at the uh, viewing party, and we're both recovering alcoholics, so we should not have been at a bar. But luckily, the holding pen for all the fans for the show um, was outside on the patio, and uh, everyone was sitting around watching TV. It was for the Anthony Bourdain Parts Unknown viewing party, which were not Anthony Bourdain fans. We went strictly for Don Lemon. So uh, we're standing there, and it was free to get in. We're sitting there like two idiots, <laughs> and we were there for about 10-15 minutes, and I was looking around, and I stopped, and I yelled, and I'll do it for you now. Look! It's Don Lemon! He's right there! And Mark goes, where? <laughs> and I said, right there! And nobody else looked. Nobody else was like, hey, what's that lady screaming about? Um, it was really, really strange. But uh, he was right there in my face. So um, he was walking through the crowd. And I, I had to run over like a 12-year-old. I felt like a 12-year-old. And I immediately started shaking. And I, I said, Mr. Lemon, would you mind if we got a picture with you? And he said, oh, that's fine. Thank you. And Mark took the picture with me, with me and Don. And then I said, okay, I know you're going to the food truck and you're starving, but can I get a picture of you and my fiancé for his parents because they're huge fans of you as well? And he said, oh, no problem. Anything. So I took the picture with him and Mark. And then I, we said, well, thank you so much. And we are huge fans. We watch you every weekend. And we started walking away, and he said, no, 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 come back, come back. And he tapped some random lady who's waiting her, for her food at the food truck, he tapped her on the shoulder, and he said, hey, excuse me, ma'am, would you mind taking a picture of the three of us together with her phone? And she said, oh, no problem. And she took the picture. And he was, like, so super nice. And he even had us turn, so we got the lights in the background, because uh, we were going to take pictures against the food truck background. But uh, he's like, no, no, let's turn around, let's get all the lights of Las Vegas in the background. So um, he was super, super nice and super cool, and we're huge fans, and now we're even bigger fans. And then the weird part is, we said, okay, well, thank you, bye, and we left. So now he knows that we're weirdos that just drove over there just to meet him, and we left. So, well, well we didn't leave at first. <laughs> Because I was looking at my pictures on my phone, and Mark wasn't responding to me. And I turn around, and Mark's got his hands in his pocket, and he's standing on the corner, and he's just watching Don Lemon order food with a big, huge smile on his face, like he is in love. That guy is in love with Don Lemon. And I was like, all right, we can go home now. And he just smiled and nodded at me. And looks back at Don Lemon. Who knew? I did not know that he was in love with Don Lemon. So uh, next we're going to get uh, Anderson Cooper. Cause nothing else happens here that he would come out. Maybe they'll do New Year's here. Maybe they'll get bored with the uh, whole NYC thing. Um, but that is all. Oh, and I'm going to go to work now. I don't even know what time it is because I do not have a clock in here. But I know these two are in love with each other. They're in love. So.
Oh, and um, I was going to decorate my room, and then uh, Mark got a raise at work. He got a promotion. So we're moving. So this will not be my craft room anymore. Oh, I started storing yarn down there. I'm going to yarn bomb that whole thing. It's gold leaf and it's beautiful, but it doesn't match anything. I'm not going to yarn bomb it until we move. So I, I picked up some more. Oh, I got a 